I'm Lisa Crossley and I'm a strength and conditioning coach at the Sports Institute. The strength and conditioning looks to improve the physical preparation of athletes and that's just through their gym sessions, their rehab and sports specific conditioning. And we link in with other service providers such as the physios, the nutritionists and the performance analysts. And we just look to make sure that we try and get the athletes to perform at their peak at the time that's most important, such as the Olympics. I travel to competitions with the guys sometimes and that means that whenever we're there we look at daily monitoring to make sure the boys respond to training and to matches properly. Um, I help with their warm-ups, their cool-downs, their recovery strategies and just making sure that the regeneration goes right so that might include ice baths or yoga and mobility and uh, just making sure that the athletes are all taken over properly. We like in with Coach Craig um, on a daily, weekly basis and just make sure the athletes are all going right and if there's any problems with the athletes, um, we'll update him on anything that we see from our side and also at, at coaching sessions we'll be there to give him a hand if he needs anything and then also just making sure that whenever it comes into rehab basis that we can help with the physios to rehab the player to come back to full fitness. This is the first Irish hockey team to qualify for the Olympics in over 100 years and that's really exciting because this time two years ago we sat and we were trying to make sure the team was the, the fittest team and the fastest team and that they, whenever they went to compete that they were the most physically prepared team. I think the Sports Institute has been real key in getting us in the best shape of our lives. I think it's maybe a little bit of a cliche that everyone says in the best shape of their lives going to the Olympic Games but for our group I can definitely say that is 100% true. That's been massively transformative, I think, um, to have the assistance of the obviously the SNC, the nutrition, the physio. I mean, it's just we've got a full package here, and we're very fortunate to have that. And I think as athletes, we've all excelled physically, um, and we're completely different animals to what we were maybe two years ago. For us, it's to kind of play our best hockey, to improve game on game, and, and to go there in the best shape possible. All these guys are very committed. Uh, you have to make a lot of sacrifices to be able to go to major games or to anything, especially the Olympics. Um, a lot of them work full-time and have worked full-time alongside a basically full-time professional schedule. So trying to help the guys do that and make sure that they fit in their gym sessions around their schedules, they have to be very committed and make sacrifices throughout all that. The qualifying for the Olympics recently was then the icing on the cake and it was the last two years of really hard work has all been worth it and it's been really enjoyable to be on that journey with them. To qualify for our first Olympics um, was something we all dreamt of and all worked so hard for and to accomplish that goal was amazing. It'll be a massive honour and privilege and achievement so we all got to keep working hard over this next few weeks. It'll be the first time any of us have gone to like a multi-sport game. To mix with other athletes from different countries and from different sports would be completely new for us. It'll be a great thing to experience. It's going to be brilliant as well for hockey in particular that guys in clubs, local clubs in Northern Ireland who've come from your school will become Olympians this summer. And that is something that hasn't happened for a long time in Northern Ireland in hockey terms. And it's definitely, I hope it really inspires kids to keep playing hockey who already are playing hockey and new kids and friends to start hockey. I think it's going to be brilliant and hopefully this summer they'll see how enjoyable sport is, how skillful it is and just it's, it's a great way to do all those things.